Hey, Chris on 21 here. Um, I want to talk to you guys about psychic um, cards. Um, a lot of people thought this deck would be like the top deck because of the 3D call. Or emergency call or whatever you want to call it. Or it's actually emergency teleport. But it's, so I'll just say emergency teleport because it's not e call, it's heroes. Sorry. Um, so, because Emergency Teleport at 3, they thought this deck was kind of good. But there's a reason that it, Emergency Teleport went back to 3. Psychics can't do much anymore. Um, yes, they can pop out um, Beast and Barkeon like awesome, but I mean, they can make 5s very easily. Um, but it's just. They can make 5 6s very easily because they got uh, Wizard. I don't have any wizards, all I got is, are these three these three playsets because these are the ones that I wanted to I got when I wanted to make a uh, second deck. But then it's like it didn't work out, it was too slow. Um, so I have I do have some experience with it, but it's like I don't I didn't like the deck enough to stick with it. Because it just wasn't fast enough. I tried to do so much stuff, but it with it, but none of it helped at all. Um, the reason why I couldn't get the deck to work was because the fact that all of the effects, the um, effects uh, deal with remove when the card leaves the field um, and is sent to the graveyard. Um, and it's like, actually, I don't think this one's sensitive. Is it? Uh, when this card is sent from field to grave. So, field to grave. Uh, destroyed and sent to the grave. And uh, when this card is sent from the field to the grave. So, that little whining made psychic really, really bad because if it just read when this card leaves the field, it gets the effect. I mean, I, I can understand why this one says to the grave. If this one said uh, when this card is destroyed um, and then have sent to, and sent to the grave, it would be a lot better. Um, the reason why I think uh, the, if these two didn't have that, um, you could basically Birdman get the effect, normal summon, do the effect again, um, do a whole bunch of other stuff and make the deck faster and better. But because it has, has to do, be sent to the grave to get the effect, the deck can't be fast enough. Because you have to sync with it, um, which then you get the effect, but then there's just I mean, there's just a lot of a lot of downfall because you can macro and deep fissure and basically stop them out because they can't really get any of their effects off because they're not being sent to the grave. They're being removed from play. Um, and that's one big downfall. Um, it's a deck based around removing from play that can't play macro or deep fissure because to get the effect the um, the monster has to be sent to the grave. I, I'm not too sure about wizard. I think wizard is just when it leaves the field. Uh, maybe it's when it leaves the field, when this card sent from the field to the grave. Maybe they all read that. Um, but still, the art, this the psychic stuff won't be good until, unless they get more support. Um, and by support, I mean um, a new searcher. They get a new searcher. If, if this card can get replaced with a better searcher, I can see the deck being better. Because this right now is only when it's destroyed by bat or when it's destroyed. So it's okay. But the fact that it's fourteen means it well it, it, the fact that it's 14 is kind of good because that means it can't bottomless. 
and remove it from play. But it's like, um, it's just, there, there's a few things that they messed up with this when they made this art type. I mean, I wish this art type was good. I mean, I got this, these cards because I'm like, I love the art with them. I mean, that is just so, that's cute. And I have a redhead fetish, so shut up about it. Um, but still, it's, I, I just like the artwork of the car, and they just look so cool. Um, I like the feel of them. I mean, they definitely have a 100% different feel than um, this. I mean, these two, I mean, they're, they're really similar. So for it's 21 and 2000, it's your defense book of defense mode when they're summoned. Um, except for this is including flip, this one doesn't. Um, this one's special summon. This one just removes it from play, and when it's we sense it's the grave, it this is special summon that monster. This one just special summons it. So, I mean, our type's just a little too slow. That's really all I have to say. The fact that, um, I mean, these infirmities and um, psychics are really, really similar. I that's something that I realize. They are very, very similar in what they do. They toolbox I mean these curves toolbox psychic toolbox the remove from play by sending stuff there and then be able to special summon it. Uh and for any send stuff to the grave and special summon it from there. They both have incredible sinking power. Um it's just um Psychics are just too slow. They don't have anything like Launcher, but then um, Infernies don't have anything like Merchant to Teleport, which is a very good card, but it's not enough to push Psychics forward. I mean, the fact that I honestly think even with the slower meta, Psychics will still be too slow, especially with the windups going out there, and I mean, Infernies. I mean, a lot of people are getting interested in Infernities, um, which I'm kind of happy about and kind of not. The um, reason I'm not kind of happy about it is because people are still, because of all that, um, it's going to be harder to get barriers because people are, are going to be like convinced more that it's actually worth 30, which I can see now that more people are being, looking into Infernities. I can see it going up to 20, 25 now. Um, but it's... Yeah. And I don't know why, but I always talk about Inferno Barrier for some reason. But the, this, um, the uh, Psychic one has a few different advantages that it can play over um, Inferno. It's like a Fet Veiler, obvious. Um, this, this one can play Card Trooper. And still be able to use it. Um, th this one can basically run all of the staple meta cards that you would want, where Inferno these can't. Um, I mean, the, these cards basically do a lot of the simple things. I mean, I could basically do this. Here's your summoner. Here's your searcher. And your tuner. I mean, if you just look at the art artwork based on these, I mean, they are pretty close. I mean, this looks like he's um, a spellcaster. I mean, he looks like he's some kind of sorcerer. As she's a witch, necromancer. I mean, obviously, I mean, they have similar things, but then it's like. There's just so many different things. I mean, they they do a lot of the same things, and you can't really say they can't because you just look at their effects. I mean, and look at what they do. They have their synchros that they do. They have also a big old fusion monster that they bring out that is a big boss. It's very hard to get rid of. And when you get him out, it's good. But it relies 
to get him out, you have to you activate a Miracle Synchro Fusion and have targets for it, and it's just too slow, in my opinion, to be a viable deck right now. If um, they come out with a new quick play for them um, that allows them to, like, super poly for psychic, I could see it happening. I honestly could see if there is some, um, I could honestly see like it's being good if they just had something like Super Poly that was specifically for them. I mean, I they could use Super Poly, but there wouldn't be any point to it because it's got to be a psychic uh, mon psychic king pro and a psychic monster. So unless you're playing a mirror match, and, unless, and plus you're gonna be uh, mining scene three there because stop using your own monsters and all that. Um, Plus, I don't know if the I, I don't I forget uh um ad stickers that if it is if it can be or if it only can be summoned by Miracle Synchro Fusion. I'm not too sure about that. Because I did look at I did play them and all that, but I don't remember too much on what the effects are because it was a while ago. It was over a year ago, I mean, it was before I started playing in friends. Um but in my opinion, um, psychics cannot be a viable deck right now. They just don't have enough. I mean, they can probably do a lock or a stall deck, and that's about it. They can't. And if uh, windups or a deck go with big boss monsters first, first turn, um, they're, they won't be able to do anything. Why? Because it's like, They'll probably be able to see once or twice, first, it, maybe once first turn, um, but they don't really get good until probably like third turn, um, because you gotta have all the setup and like even you basically like for this you get this out first turn, okay, good defense, use a pet, you have to wait until they get rid of it or until you get a tuner to be able to sync with it. And they don't have an, another way of special summon except for emergency teleport. So unless they get emergency teleport and this first turn, they're gonna have to basically just stall a little bit. Or have this, gotta get it out, set it, wait for it to be destroyed, then you're still waiting the turn while your opponent had that turn to set up their big play. The wind ups they do that one turn. That one turn OTK, nine thousand attack or whatever. The loop, or whatever you want to call it, they do that, and yeah. So second, in my opinion, they're just too slow. They're just, I mean, they're too slow for this slow form. There's not too much you can do with it. I mean, you could, um, you could probably miss the engine, miss uh, this with another deck to make it a little bit better. That we still have a sinking power, but you won't have too many different um, changes being going on because there's just not enough there in my opinion in my opinion there's just not enough there so yeah this is Chris on 21 peace